What's up the John Squad? This is John Pilling here, your YouTube World Harrison Champion here on YouTube. And I'm coming to my daily Monday Night Raw review for February 17, 2020. So let's do this, shall we the John Squad? So we kicked off Daily Monday Night Raw last night with Randy Orton and he talks about 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 what he's supposed to do what he did to Matt Hardy when he, he's supposed to face Matt Hardy and no holds barred tonight but that isn't going to happen so he talks about the Hardy boys and Matt Hardy comes out and talks to Orton and talks to him about what he did to Edge and wants to know what what, what wants to know what is wrong with him and that he came here to fight him. That's what Matt Hardy says. But the doctors won't clear won't, won't, won't clear him. So he he. But then Matt Hardy says that he won't quit. So Randy tells Matt that he 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 needs to leave the arena and say and say goodbye on his own two feet. Orton says that he respects Matt Hardy and Edge and that he is sorry. So then Orton leaves the ring and Hardy grabs the steel chair. Orton Orton goes back and beats up on Matt Hardy and then delivers an RK one to Matt Hardy. But wait, Orton was not done yet because guess what Randy Orton does to Matt Hardy? He 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 hits him with the steel chair uh, tons of times and then hits him in the back with the steel chair. Then Orton then take, takes the bottom of the steel step, places Matt Hardy's um. Places um, Mal Hardy's head on the bottom of the steel steps, and the next thing you know, that um, what he does next is that he he grabs the chair and wham, bangs his, wham hits the steel. You know, Mal Hardy's head was on the bottom of the steel steps, and then wham. Use the steel chair on Matt Hardy's neck, and then he does it another time. And then he says, "I'm sorry," and then that segment's all over. So then the first match of Hell Row was Air Growing and Alistair Air Growing versus Alistair Black, and the winner was Alistair Black. Then Charlotte Flair cuts a promo in the ring and talks about NXT Takeover Portland, and Charlotte Flair shows footage about when she showed up at NXT Portland and and how she and how she was impressed in that. Then she talked about other things like that and talked about Rhea Ripley showing up on Raw and showing up on her brand and stuff like that. So then basically what she just talked about that and how she's challenged her to wrestle and how Rhea Ripley's coming to Monday Night Raw and that she's going to and that she's going to take the title from Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. So in the second match you had row was a 24-7 championship match triple threat we had was Riddick Moss versus R-Truth versus Mojo Rawley and the winner was and still our 24-7 champion Riddick Moss. After the match was over, Mojo Rawley was going to beat up on R-Truth but then R-Truth beats up on Mojo Rawley and leaves him laying out. So then, the third match in Hell Raw was Drew McIntyre versus MVP, and the winner was Drew McIntyre. So then, we had an in-ring promo on Raw with Becky Lynch, and she talked about feeling a lot, a lot of things, and how and knowing to do with fortunes and stuff like that. So then, she has a bag full of money, and then shows when she got fined for from the ambulance last week. So then, she 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 pulls, she dumps out the whole bag of money and just pull, which it was pretty funny. She says if they want to find her again, just find her and stuff like that. That she she shows out the bag of money and just dumps it all out and rips the whole bag and shows a lot of money that and shows a lot of money. And that she she talks about Shayna Baszler and 
since says that she's coming for Shayna Baszler and sh and and so then basically um Shayna Baszler appears on the Titan Tron and talks to Becky Lynch and tells her that she's in the Elimination Chamber and that and that she's and that it's a perfect fit for her because she's a cage fighter and that's what she says. So Becky says that she is going to be cheering for Shayna Baszler to win the Elimination Chamber. So she gets to face her at WrestleMania. And so that's what Becky Lynch wants. Becky Lynch is crazy, man. I can't believe she wants to face her, but that's going to be something. Can't wait. Okay, so then the next match on Raw was Rusev and Humberto Carrillo versus Bobby Lashley and Angel Garza. And the winner of this match was Angel Garza and Bobby Lashley. After the match is over, uh... Rusev attacks Angel Garza and just throws him over the top rope, which you know, over the top of the turnbuckle or something like that. And Angel Garza just escapes. The fifth match in our role was Kyrie Sane versus Natalia, and the winner was Kyrie Sane by countout because Asuka helped out Kyrie Sane on ringside. So then we had a ceremony with the Monday Night Messiah and with AOP. And Murphy and Seth Rollins and Seth Rollins thanks everyone for making him the future and talks about the world and ceremony and talks about the word ceremony and to celebrate our vision and you know that's what Seth Rollins talks about. So then he's completed phase one last week when he defeated. Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe, and the Viking Raiders, and then he says that Phase Two will be tough. The Phase Two will will be tough and not and will not be easy. So then the Viking Raiders come out and attack AOP and Murphy as Rollins escaped, and then Kevin Owens delivers a stunner on top of the stage to Seth Rollins, and that's what happens at the end of the segment. So another match how Raw was. Carlo Anderson versus Ricochet, and the winner of this match was Ricochet. So then the meeting that we had on Raw was Murphy and AOP versus Kevin Owens and the Viking Raiders, and the winner of this match was Kevin Owens and AOP due to Seth Rollins coming into the ring and attacking Kevin Owens as he was about to go for the pin. So then AOP, Murphy, and Seth Rollins beat up on Kevin Owens as the Viking Raiders got taken out and Seth Rollins gets on the mic saying I told you to Kevin Owens I told you that's what he says to Kevin Owens on the microphone but then Seth Rollins as soon as you know it Seth Rollins as soon as he was about to do something to Kevin Owens he the street prophets come out and make the save and and they take out Seth Rollins partners and the next thing you know it is that Seth Rollins leaves the ring and Murphy and AOP get taken out by Kevin Mur Murphy and AOP get taken out by the Street Profits, Kevin Owens, and the Viking Raiders and Rollins gets all upset on top of the ramp and says, Come on, let's go and that's what happens to an WWE Monday Night Raw last night and Boy, oh boy, what a Monday Night Raw last night this was indeed. And can't wait to watch Raw next Monday night. It's going to be something else with Seth Rollins and the Monday Night Messiah. So it's going to be something else. Can't believe Rollins is going along with this gimmick. I don't even know why, but I love the heel Rollins. It makes total sense. But this Rollins is just, I don't know, it's a, kind of a goofy Rollins gimmick, I should say less. But still... Makes total sense for this heel Rollins. But anyway, so, once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comments down below what your favorite part of this study Monday Night Raw was. And subscribe for more. You're all the best of John Squad. You're a one of a kind. I love each and every single one of you guys. You mean a lot to me. I love you guys. And don't forget to tap that bell on YouTube so you don't miss upload on my videos. And subscribe for more. Peace out, the John Squad. Love you guys.